Hey guys, thank you for watching the Slat Rock channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And if you've already done so, just make sure that it's still active. The McMahon family has taken professional wrestling to the greatest heights, but they're also known for taking it to the lowest lows. While there are too many famous disgusting angles, today we present you 15 most gross moments in WWE that we've all forgotten. Number 15. Al Snow Eats His Dog The Big Boss Man is no stranger to disgusting angles. Recall the time he interrupted the funeral of the Big Show's father, dragging the coffin away. That was the epitome of class compared to this angle, where the Big Boss Man kidnapped Al Snow's pet dog Pepper, capitalizing on the popular Chihuahua dog in the Taco Bell commercials at the time on the August 23, 1999 edition of Raw. Stealing wrestlers' pets has a rich pedigree, no pun intended. Remember the time the Islanders dognapped the British Bulldog's pet pooch Matilda? Being the Attitude Era, things got a lot darker. The Big Boss Man promised to return Pepper to Snow if he granted him a hardcore title shot. On the premiere episode of SmackDown, the Boss Man defeated Snow, but reneged on his promise. Finally, the Boss Man agreed to give Pepper back if Snow met him for dinner. Unbeknownst to Snow, his dinner was his doggy. According to a 2008 interview with Snow on In Your Head Radio, this angle was based on a real-life incident where Mr. Fuji killed a neighbor's dog and fed it to the owner. The results of the doggy dinner would lead to a pepper on a pole match on the September 19, 1999 Sunday Night Heat and the travesty known as the Kennel from Hell match at 1999's Unforgiven Pay-Per-View. Number 14. Tommy Dreamer Will Eat Anything it's been said that sometimes Vince McMahon gives stupid gimmicks to punish wrestlers. Fans remember the American Dream Dusty Rhodes debuting in black and polka dots. The WWE is known for repackaging wrestlers, but nothing like what happened to Tommy Dreamer when he went from the innovator of violence to just a regular guy. This regular guy ate hot dogs off of the floor, brushed teeth with the same brush as his dog, drank toilet water, and shaved his tongue. On the May 27, 2002 Raw, WWE World Champion The Undertaker forced Dreamer to drink a cup of his tobacco juice. On the June 3, 2002 Raw, a sick Dreamer barfed into a bucket. The Undertaker emptied the bucket on Dreamer after defeating him in a non-title match that night. What did Dreamer do to deserve this gimmick? Nobody knows. Things worked out for Dreamer as the gimmick was short-lived and he returned to the innovator of violence gimmick, doing what he does best, wrestling hardcore matches and beating people up with whatever's at hand. Number 13. Dawn Marie Marries Al Wilson Al Wilson fulfilled the dream of red-blooded senior citizens everywhere when he began dating and eventually marrying WWE vixen Dawn Marie. Where things get disgusting is that Don Marie was feuding with Al's daughter Tori Wilson and using poor Al to get back at Tori. Don told Tori she would call off the wedding if Tori agreed to sleep with her. After Tori agreed, Don Marie continued the wedding anyway. On June 2, 2003, Al and Don were married on SmackDown in their underwear. Poor Al discovered the perils of May-December romances when his wedding night led to an untimely demise after too much sex. In true wrestling fashion, Mr. Wilson's funeral turned into a Pier 6 brawl, arguably the least disgusting part of the angle. Number 12. Terry Runnels Fake Miscarriage Terry Runnels is a talented woman who debuted as Alexandra York in WCW and made a name for herself as Goldust's manager Marlena. When Terry became involved with Val Venus, she revealed that she was pregnant, only for Venus to dump her. Terry formed a female faction known as Pretty Mean Sisters and managed D'Lo Brown and Mark Henry. On January 4, 1999, D'Lo was wrestling Edge on Raw when Terry fell off the mat apron, leading to a miscarriage, or so Terry claimed. Eventually, Brown learned the pregnancy was a sham. What the angle did other than disgust fans remains a mystery. Number 11. Eddie Guerrero Gives the Big Show a Poop Shower you have to give Paul White credit. He'll do anything to get an angle over, no matter how stupid or disgusting. His feud with Eddie Guerrero had a fecal theme. 
First, Eddie gave Big Show some burritos packed with laxatives. We'll leave the rest to your imagination. When an angry show confronted Guerrero on the October 9, 2003 SmackDown, Eddie was ready with a water hose. Unfortunately, there wasn't water in the hose. Big Show was sprayed from head to toe with poop, disgusting fans at home. One can only wonder the reaction of the fans in the arena itself. Number 10. The Boogeyman Kisses Queen Charmel. The idea of a bizarrely painted wrestler who eats worms and breaks a clock reminiscent of Flava Flav has a lot of potential to disgust. Arguably, the apex was when the Boogeyman wrestled King Booker at WrestleMania 22. The Boogeyman kissed Queen Charmel with a mouthful of worms, disgusting Charmel, and people who hadn't counted on worms being part of a pay per view. Number 9. The Ultimate Warrior's Explosive Vomiting When the WWF introduced Papa Shango as a self professed voodoo practitioner, no one knew what that meant for his opponents. They found out when Shango placed a curse on the Ultimate Warrior on the May 16, 1992 episode of WWF Superstars during Warrior's match with Brian Nobbs. After the match, the Warrior went to confront Shango, only to collapse in pain. Medical personnel took him backstage, where the Warrior reenacted the puking scene from The Exorcist. Fortunately for the Warrior, the curse was on his mouth and not at the other end of his gastrointestinal tract. Shango's antics did not go unrecognized. In 1992, he won two awards from the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Most Embarrassing Wrestler and Worst Gimmick. A disgusting angle, but not unexpected as Vince McMahon would eventually introduce a wrestler called Puke. Number 8. Val Venus Choppy Choppy Pee Pee Incident Fans used to wrestlers with second jobs such as Duke the Dumpster Drossy, Garbage Man by Day, Wrestler by Night, were in for a big surprise when they saw the day jobs of wrestlers in the Attitude Era. Case in point, Val Venus, an adult film star turned wrestler. Venus quickly won fans over with his promos and videos that were loaded with double entendres. Venus's horndog antics led to an angle where he banged the wife of Yamaguchi-san, manager of the heel faction Kayentai. Yamaguchi-san sought revenge on Venus, his men eventually capturing Venus and taking him backstage on the August 3, 1998 Raw. Yamaguchi-san got ready to choppy choppy Val's pee-pee with a samurai sword. Fans were left wondering if Val had lost his moneymaker, not to be confused with his finisher, the money shot, until it was revealed that Venus had been rescued by John Wayne Bobbitt, famous for having his penis cut off by his jealous wife. Just days before the making of this video, Wally Yamaguchi passed away and we at Slat Rock send our condolences to his friends, fans and family. Number 7. DX Drowns the McMahons in Poop In 2006, D-Generation X was feuding with Shane McMahon and Vince McMahon. Just to keep things fair, the McMahons brought in the Spirit Squad, five male cheerleaders. DX was more than up to the task, and after mocking Shane and Vince with a blistering impersonation, DX unloaded mass quantities of poop all over their foes. Vince McMahon's willingness to participate in the incident and his penchant for poop is disgusting on so many levels, but you have to give McMahon credit for concocting disgusting angles and participating in them. Number 6. Kane Torches His Parents' Grave the thrilling feud between storyline brothers Kane and The Undertaker heated up the WWF in 1998. After defeating Kane at WrestleMania 14, The Undertaker vowed to take out Kane once and for all. However, Kane and manager Paul Bearer had a horrific surprise. While The Undertaker was in the ring cutting a promo on an April 1998 Raw, they were at the gravesite of The Undertaker's parents. Kane and Paul Bearer showed their disdain for The Undertaker, setting the burial place on fire. The disgusting angle set up an inferno match at April's Unforgiven In Your House pay-per-view, where Taker would get revenge by setting Kane on fire. Still, this is another disgusting case of what were they thinking? Number 5. Titus O'Neil Gets Sick we all know the risks of eating too much, but every November, thousands of Americans will gorge on an enormous Thanksgiving meal. And in 2013, Titus O'Neil certainly had his fill after winning an eating contest during SmackDown. 
Later that same night, the former tag team champion was called upon to face Antonio Cesaro before he was stripped of his first name. Ever the tactician, the Swiss Superman targeted Titus's stomach with strikes and gut wrench throws before hitting the former Florida Gator with the Cesaro swing. This proved to be the last straw for Titus's tummy, as O'Neill became visibly ill and grabbed the nearest receptacle, which just so happened to be JBL's hat. If that wasn't gross enough, the vomit-filled Stetson was then placed on Michael Cole, who must have been questioning transitioning from war correspondent to WWE commentator. Despite the little sensor turkeys covering O'Neill's mouth during his vomiting and subsequent attempts to puke on Zeb Coulter, the scene was definitely disturbing, and since witnessing someone throw up can often cause copycat reflexes, Titus probably wasn't the only person blowing chunks during the show. Number 4. The Pit Stop When you have a tag team called the Nasty Boys, you can probably presume that they're going to be hard to watch. Together, Jerry Sags and Brian Knobs enjoyed great success, holding tag gold in the NWA, AWA, XWF, ECW, and the WWF. And while the team had an array of dominant moves that helped them to glory, it is the disgusting pit stop that the team are best remembered for. While it was physically painless, the move was one of the most mentally demoralizing moves in all of wrestling history. When one nasty boy would raise his arm, revealing his armpit, the other would grab the head of an opponent. In case that wasn't bad enough, remember that this move would come late into matches, meaning that the pit would be drenched in sweat. We can't think of many moments in our lives where we would want to be pressed into a man's armpit, and we certainly can't think of any wrestler who looked forward to the embarrassing maneuver. And while other nominees on this list were one-off incidents, the pit stop was a regular move for the Nasty Boys, with opponents and fans left retching for years. Number 3. Trish Gets Dumped Although Vince McMahon has never shied away from embarrassing himself in the name of entertainment, the chairman sure has done a lot to his employees. One superstar who felt the boss's wrath was Trish Stratus, who was romantically linked to the boss in 2001. After telling his wife Linda he wanted a divorce, Vince started an affair with Trish, which enraged Stephanie McMahon. When Vince and Trish were scheduled to face Stephanie and then WWF Commissioner William Regal, the chairman was spotted backstage gleefully stirring a mop bucket of nastiness. When Stratus asked McMahon about the bucket, the boss assured her that it would come into play later that night. And while McMahon stayed true to his word, it wasn't what Trish expected, as Vince turned on her mid-match, dousing the future Hall of Famer in the substance. To make things worse, Stephanie proceeded to grab Stratus by the hair, force her head into the bucket, and though Trish had been a manipulative heel, even she hadn't deserved this. Things would get even worse the next week, as Vince would force the Canadian to strip and bark like a dog, proving that no one should ever cross the boss. Number 2. Everything About Bastion Booger Bastion Booger may go down as the grossest superstar in WWE history. Appearing in the World Wrestling Federation in the early 90s, Mike Shaw was reportedly given the character as a punishment for his weight and was forced to carry out several disgusting tasks. It's hard to pick the grossest part of Booger's character, though many fans must have definitely looked away from the screen when the heavyweight would pick his nose during his entrance. With an ugly gray singlet that struggled to hold in Booger's rotund form, the mountain of a man would devour food at ringside, with his missing teeth and lack of hygiene only making Booger seem more disgusting. His gross appearance was matched by Booger's gross finisher, where the heavyweight would stand over his prone opponent and jiggle his body before jumping on his opponent for the pin. While his mannerisms disgusted many, Booger would attempt to swoon Luna Vachon, though after a brief feud with Bam Bam Bigelow, the disgusting superstar would leave the WWE in August 1994, though he returned for one night in late 2007 for Raw's 15th anniversary. Number 1. Shawn Michaels Gets Drug Tested It's pretty clear to everyone in the WWE universe that nothing is off limits. From the Montreal Screwjob to Stone Cold Steve Austin siding with Vince McMahon in 2001, it's obvious that anything goes in the search for entertainment. 
In 2006, though, when Shawn Michaels was in the midst of a war with the chairman, the fans witnessed one of the grossest moments in Raw history. After teaming with God himself to face Vince and Shane, the chairman of the board accused the showstopper of being on drugs. Rather than suspending the former world champion, McMahon forced HBK to take a drug test live on Raw, complete with a curtain for Michaels to urinate behind, as well as a doctor to observe and make sure he gave a genuine sample. While the segment made very little sense, the fans rooted for the showstopper all the way, though those cheers turned to disgust when Michaels threw the cup of urine in the face of the boss. Guys, that's our list. If you can think of any other gross moments that we might have forgotten about, drop us a comment below and let us know. If you like this video, don't forget to check out our previous video, 13 times WWE superstars dressed up to mock other superstars. Also check out our other high-rated videos by clicking in the upper right-hand corner or down in the description field. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss a single video. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, thank you for watching.